Yo, what is up YouTube? It's Ice Grenade and I'm going to show you how to add in these awesome instant teleports. So they've got the effects in them, but before you use them, you've got to turn on the power. For those out there who's already got Nate Smith Zombies, cool teleporter there. I just thought I'd show you how it works with that teleporter. So here's the one that I've been scripting. You can see it's asking for the power. And we'll go over to his one. It's also asking for the power. Right, the power is on. If we go to this one, it will ask us to link. We can link it up and use the teleporter. But we're not going to use it yet because we're going to use this one. And boom, it put us there. You can see it's working. And if we go over to the main frame, I'm going to jump in the main frame. And you can see that we can use the pack a punch teleporter. And this one puts us in the random room which has no lighting. So it's all rather crazy. Okay, so here we go. And then we've got the pack a punch. You can see that it's all working. And I have tested it with up to four players and it seems to be work fine so hopefully there are no problems but let me know if you do anyway let's jump in and i'll show you exactly what you need to do the first thing you want to do is download this zip file that's in the description once it's downloaded just extract it anywhere on your desktop and get your black ops 3 root open the next thing we're going to, need to do is drag in these three folders into your root i've already done it so it's asking to replace but you shouldn't get that message if you do get a message asking for it to replace then you can do let me decide and just make sure they're all the same file size. If they're all the same file size, then just select the ones already in your root folder and hit continue. So the next thing from here is to open up the instructions. And this will be different depending on whether you're using Nate Smith's Kino style teleporters. If you're not using his teleporters, then just use the just instant teleporter instructions. Open this up and put it over on the right of your screen. You can use the Windows key and the right arrow key to do that. The next thing you want to do is copy these lines and go to your user alias. To get to your user alias, you go to share, raw, sound, aliases, then user aliases and open it up with a double click. I've already got all of them here, but what you're going to want to do is click at the very last comma do a new line and then paste in there and do them here. If you've already got these, like I have here and here, then you don't need to do the step, you can undo it. But yeah, paste it at the end and save. And we can close that file down now. The next thing we're gonna wanna do, go back to the instructions. So we're gonna wanna copy these lines here and go to your map name GSC. To get to your map name GSC, if you open launcher, right click on your map and go to show zone folder. Then go up one folder and go to scripts, ZM, and go to your map name.gsc and do open there. Where you have all of these things that start with using, you're gonna to wanna to go to the last one and go underneath and paste. You can see I've already done it here, so I don't need to do it because it's here and you just wanna have that line in there. Okay, save that. Go back to the instructions file. We're going to copy these three here, copy. And then we wanna to go to your zone file. To get to your zone file, what you can do is go to launcher, right click and do edit zone file. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to the end and paste it in there. You can see I've already done it here, so I don't need to. And once you've done that, do save. And the last thing we're gonna do is go to Radiant and add in the teleporter triggers. Okay, so we're in Radiant now and you're just gonna to need to do just a couple of things to create any teleporter you like. First thing we're gonna do is press B to bring up the entity browser. You can right click here and go to entity browser that way. Once you're here, you wanna to go to trigger and go to where it says trigger multiple and drag one of those into your map and press escape and then drag in a trigger use and press escape. We're then going to select the trigger multiple and press N to bring up the entity info. We are going to give it a target name of teleport player and then on the trigger use, we're gonna give it a target of teleport player string. And then what you wanna do is just line them up next to each other. So I'm going to move this one closer and I'm going to drag them both up, going to make them a bit thinner. But it's up to you how you wanna have them. Okay, so I have the two triggers here and the next thing we're gonna to need to do is go over to where you want to teleport to and create a origin. So you press B, go to script, origin and drag one of those into your map make sure you don't have anything selected when you do that then go over to where your trigger multiple is and select your trigger multiple press n to make sure it's your trigger multiple then click on the origin and press w you've just set up a teleporter whenever you jump in to this trigger it will teleport you to that origin you can select both of these triggers 
and the origin and simply hit space and then you've got another one you could rotate it like so and say you put that like that and what you'll do here is you've just made a teleporter that can go back and then you can turn around and go back in and you can actually adjust the angles to make it point the player in whatever direction you like the next thing you're going to need to do is for the effects and if you watch my other tutorial on the keynote style teleporters you'll see how you can extend your skybox down so you can have things under your map what you're going to want to do is go to your prefab browser go to the nate smith zombies folder the kino teleporter and bring in one of these setup black boxes and if you take one of those and just put them under your map out of sight i already have one so i don't need to but just get it out the way and make sure that it's in a zone so your players don't die when they go in it and just leave it there and what that's going to do is make it show the effects the players are going to teleport there they're not going to be able to move they'll see the effects and then they get teleported to the destination have fun with this and thanks for watching that's it cheers bye